Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Zygbert Taras and Emmanuel Alaska. This is the last game from the Alaska Taras World Championship match that was played in Germany in 1908. Zygbert Taras, player with white pieces in this game, was highly respected for his contribution to the opening theory. Lines from both the Queen's Gambit and the French defense are named after him. He was also famous for a guideline in rook endings, like rook should be placed behind the past bones. Let's have a look at the game. Zygbert Taras started with e4, black to move. Emmanuel Lasca played e5, and computer says it's already equal. Just kidding. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Bishop to b5. Spanish opening. Knight to f6. Knight to c3 for knight's game. Bishop to b4 and both players castle kingside. d3. d6. Is that a symmetrical position? Or is that a symmetrical position? Bishop to g5. Why to move? Bishop to e6 was played. Some people say that Vlaska wanted to play bishop to g4, but it slipped out of his hand and ended on e6. I think this is not true. d4. Let's take it back. Knight to d5 is not a bad move neither. And now if bishop takes on d5, e takes on d5, and if knight to e7, white can take the knight on f6 and damage the pawn structure around black king. Back to our game. d4 was played. e takes on d4. Knight takes pawn on d4. h6. Attacking the bishop. White to move. Bishop to h4 was played. Bishop takes knight on c6 is not a bad move neither. Perhaps then bishop takes knight on c3 would be played. However, Tarash played bishop to h4, knight to e5, and now f4. Black to move. You would think that the knight must go somewhere, like to g4. Do you agree? There was a surprise. Emmanuel Aska played bishop to c5. Very clever move. Bishop takes knight on f6. If pawn takes knight, then d takes on e5. And the knight can't move, it's pinned. Back to our game. So, pawn takes knight is not a good move. But perhaps king to h1 should have been considered. Tarash played bishop takes knight. Queen takes bishop. And now f takes on e5 is okay. This is discovered attack on the queen. Queen takes pawn on e5. Knight to e2 defending the pin the knight. And now Tarash wished his king was on h1. Bishop to g4. Zygbert Tarash is on the back foot. Rook to f3 was played. Well, Tarash considered c3 and didn't like it because of... Can you see what's wrong with c3? He is losing the bishop on b5. After bishop takes on d4 check, queen takes bishop, queen takes bishop on b5. So he played. Rook to f3. Losing the exchange. Bishop takes rook. Pawn takes bishop. Black to move. f5 was played. Very logical move. Intending to open the file for the rook. However, d5 may be even stronger. f5 was played. Queen to d3. 
c6, bishop to c4 check, king to h8, king to h1, beta was c3, king to h1 was played. And now b5, attacking the bishop. Let's take it back. F takes on e4 is even stronger. And after queen takes on e4, bishop takes on d4, queen takes bishop, queen takes queen, knight takes queen, rook to f4, and after c3, c5. White is in trouble big time. Back to our game. After king to h1, Emmanuel Aska played b5. Bishop to b3, and now f takes on e4. Queen takes on e4, queen takes queen, pawn takes a queen, rook from a to e8, knight takes pawn on c6. Tarash was on the back foot, but now he is back in the game. However, he spent lots of time on the clock. Rook takes pawn on e4. Knight to g3 attacking the rook. Rook from e to e8. Rook to d1. Rook to f2. White to move. Tarash wanted to bring his knight on c6. Back in the game, however, he was in time trouble. And with only seconds left on his clock, Tarash made a terrible mistake. Knight to d4. What's wrong with this move? Black played the move and white resigned. What is the move? Can you guess the move? Laska played. Bishop takes knight on d4. Tarash resigned. Let's play a few more moves. If rook takes on d4, then rook to e1 check, and after knight to f1, rook from e takes on f1. Check, mate. Tarash was very sad to finish his match with Laska with a blunder like that. Did you ever blunder in a time trouble? Hmm? Don't worry. It happened to me once too. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.